yesterday I did confirm and I did tweet out that Kylie Cosmetics removed me from their PR list. Yes, that is 100% a fact. Oh, with the number one most viewed beauty channel of 2017. You think I'm bothered, honey? You think I'm bothered, Kylie? I'm not. Next. Oh, the truth. What is the truth? Oh my gosh, there's so much drama. What's going on everyone's Rich Lux in today's video, girl? Oh, honey, honey, honey. You won't believe what I just found out, honey. So Jeffree Star went on a freaking rampage, a Twitter war last night, honey. I'm shook, girl. The beauty community is shook, honey. All right, girl, this, this eyelash is a little wonky, girl, so you already know there's gonna be some drama, okay? So here's what he said. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the f you are. Um, I want to come on here a little bit and address something I said yesterday, because you know people love to twist my Every single time I open my mouth, someone has to make it something else. So, yesterday I did confirm and I did tweet out that Kylie Cosmetics removed me from their PR list. Yes, that is 100% a fact. And I get asked all the time to review everything that she comes out with. So, of course, I'm going to mention it. I saw some people like, why are you even talking about it, bitch? It's our entire world. Makeup is my entire life. And I have been the person that people go to to see if Kylie is good or not i mean there is millions and millions and millions of views so after the brush um review went up i guess bitch i was canceled which it's all good i ain't mad about it if i want to review something honey i'm gonna buy it myself so no shade just kind of sad and embarrassing on her team's part my philosophy is if you're going to be upset by someone's thoughts or opinions or if you're even afraid of them don't send it to me in the first place but after two years of sending me product like girl I've had her assistants show up at my door in an Uber to give it to me early. So to remove me, I just thought that was so shady and dumb. Um, but it's all good. So the reason why I mentioned it yesterday is because everyone was asking if I was going to review the weather collection. So, um, no, nope, didn't get it, not reviewing it. And I don't really want to spend my time buying it because that collection in particular didn't really get me off it was kind of like uh, i just really wasn't into it so the next collection that she launches if it's sickening and you guys are dying and requesting for me to buy it and review it of course i do of course i will because i review everything you guys told me to buy um and check out and you guys have sent me some gems throughout the last few years so anywho if brands are afraid of honesty and the truth I'm still gonna review your shit, baby, so you can remove me, you can try to exile me, but girl, with the number one most viewed beauty channel of 2017, you think I'm bothered, honey? You think I'm bothered, Kylie? I'm not. Next. Now, you already know, I love Jerry Star so much, so don't even start. Girl, here we go. And let it be known, out of all the drama channels in the world, I'm the only, girl, is my eyelash still on? Okay, I thought I fell off. I'm the only one who buys his stuff and reviews it, girl. I have spent more money on Jeffree Star makeup than everybody combined, so don't you even start, okay? So it says, I'm in the unique position reviewing products for a living as well as having a successful cosmetics company. I owned a brand before I started my channel and don't let anyone get it twisted. I will continue to give my 100% honest opinions no matter what brands try to do. Please subscribe and like Rich Lux video. I love him so much. He made it seem like, okay, in that tweet, you gotta read in between the lines, girl, okay? Successful cosmetics company setting you up, okay? Here we go, like something's coming, okay? Well, then he also says, no matter what brands try to do. So it's like, well, what, what's, ooh, what, is someone trying to take him down? What's going on? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? So then the next tweet said this. I love when I speak the truth about a product and then I get removed. Dot, dot, dot. Ha, ha, ha. These companies really be scared of the truth getting out to a huge audience. Oh, the truth. What is the truth? Girl, you know what I'm saying? Girl, why, why does every time, I've done this many times, why when I read Jeffree Star's tweets, they sound so like, like he's sitting perched up in like a mansion and saw a dark girl feeding him grapes and pinball machines in the background, bling, 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 bling. He's just like, ha, 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 ha. Give me the hook on Nathan. You know what I'm saying? It's like, girl, it just sounds so like, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just how I'm reading it, who knows. Just for the record, 
I could care less about getting free products. I buy anything I have ever wanted to review that you guys have told me about. I invest a lot into my channel and this is just pure comedy to me. What what happened? We missed something. Something happened, girl. Let us continue with the drama. I can confirm I've been removed from the Kylie Cosmetics PR list. Ooh, honey, honey, honey. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now let's find out why. Now the next tweet, here's what she said. Well, I'm, who's ready for some hot tea today? Okay, so there you go. Jeffree Star is no longer on a Kylie PR. If I could just get on that PR list. If I could just get on that PR list. Remember that? Girl, okay. Seriously, if I could just get on the PR list, he's removed from Kylie PR. Do you, let, let's, let's just, let us go back. Jeffree Star, I'm not saying that because of Jeffree Star, Kylie is who she is, no ma'am. But let, let's just be real, you know what I'm saying? When Kylie started releasing makeup, people were looking for reviews on it. And one of the first reviews was, you know, up there with the beauty gurus, you know, and Jeffree was one of them. He did Kylie, some of his best videos of him is reviewing Kylie stuff, even with his boyfriend. I think they did a video of him reviewing Kylie makeup with his boyfriend or something. But I remember like the summer collection, they reviewed it, girl, the birthday collection, something like that. I just know for a fact he's been reviewing Kylie makeup and they get the big old PR boxes, right? He gets a lot of views. Most of the time, his opinions are like, I like this one, but I don't like this one. Overall, uh, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much the truth about a lot of stuff, a lot of things in the world, right? I never found him to be that negative with his, uh, with his reviews, with the Kylie stuff, but I do know for a fact, like just from being in the, you know, public eye, you know, whatever. I feel like, okay, you may not understand this. I don't think many of you will get this, okay? But anytime I do a video with Nikki Tutorials, I don't know why it gets views. I don't know why it gets views to the house, right? And so anytime there's a Nikki Tutorials drama, I try to make the video because I know for some, for, some, for some reason, girl, I just get views, girl, okay? But anytime there's drama with Kylie Jenner and Jeffrey, Jeffrey gets a lot of views, right? So remember whenever uh, Jeffree Star made this big old drama about the makeup lippies by Kylie not really you know, he had just some complaint about it and that freaking blew up, freaking blew up. And he got all these subs and subscribers and views, even more, he already got them, but he got even more. And I've noticed that like anytime that he complains about Kylie, it gets, it gets made, it makes it into the drama sphere. That is like vlogs and videos and articles that get written, right? So it's almost like beneficial for him to have that yin and the yang with Kylie because it, it benefits him. Almost like benefits me to talk about Kylie Nick tutorials when she collapses, fall downs or whatever, girl, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why this is the way it is. So it was kind of like, Kylie, what are you doing, girl? Okay. And, and maybe I guess anybody can make it an article just to talk about Kylie Jenner. But when you have two big celebs fighting, it's drama. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And Jeffree Star it, it is to me is a celebrity, a YouTube celebrity as well. And also Kylie Jenner is a huge celebrity too. So I don't know. I think it's a bad move on her to remove him, but maybe she thought he was too problematic for her brand. Maybe he said some things that she didn't like, but it's not really Kylie, girl. I don't even think she cares. Half the time she's barefoot and pregnant, walking around taking care of babies or something, trying to figure out, she's trying to figure out who her real baby daddy is. Let's just be honest, okay? But the real tea is, why did you take Jeffrey up? What was the straw that broke the camel's back? And well, really? Girl, Kylie Jenner just released a palette recently called something about weathering the storm, which, uh, you know, being me that I live in Houston and we got hit by that major storm, girl, that flooded the damn city, girl. I don't really want to buy a palette that's all about flood and water and lightning. I'm just kind of like, girl, anxiety attack the house, you know? But I just kind of feel like she released this palette about weather and then she named her baby Stormy about weather. And I'm like, girl, did you really just name your baby uh, something about the weather that has to do with your damn palette release, girl, you just released... Really, girl? Okay, well that palette's out. People are getting it in PR and Jeffrey didn't get it yet. So he's not on the PR list, right? Sometimes I think we might jump the gun. Sometimes, I know this for a fact, sometimes they may skip a launch with you, but they'll put you in the next palette or put you in the next whatever they come out with, you know? So maybe he's not 100% correct on this one. I have to call it out. He didn't get that palette 
That doesn't mean he's not on the PR list. Maybe they ran out. Maybe they just wanted to focus on certain people and the next pilot, they'll send it to him. Whatever the next one it be because you know she drops every month. New pilots, girl, okay? <sighs> but I think that um, I also heard a rumor that Kylie Cosmetics is focusing on smaller brands, right? And this seems to be the case that when a company, makeup company, they usually push their products PR to big, big, big YouTubers and celebrities, okay? They do reviews. Then once they get their recognition and the brand and all that stuff, people, money's coming in, then it's like, well, let's focus on the little kids. Let's focus, let's focus on the little channels. And they start sending them and they kind of stop giving it to them. That's just a theory that, um, and that's just something I've I actually seen this happen, okay? Anyways, talking about drama, guess what I got in the mail? You're gonna freaking die, okay. This is my first one, so I'm like really excited to go through it with you guys and I haven't looked at it. I have opened it just for time reasons, so you know, for a limit of time. But here it is, I got my first freaking boxy charm, and I got it late, I mean, I'm already in February, I mean, February is already over, and this is the busted ass February box. So I'm not really gonna go through it as thorough as I may maybe have want to, but we're gonna open it up, and I freaking get, this is my first boxy charm, I know you're like, next, next, I already got my, girl, girl, this is my first one, I'm excited about it. So you can hate all you want. So this is it, we get a card, and it also tells us what the stuff is, girl. This is what I'm talking about. They don't do that with Ipsy, honey. And it also tells me the price on the back, which I love, okay? So we're gonna put that to the side, and it has this little like felt thing here. I'm, I'm already liking it, okay? I'm already liking it. So the first thing I got here is going to be this Naked Cosmetics. Open it up, not bother the house, and let's see what we got here. All right, no mirror, okay, and uh, the holographic highlighter collection. So, um, I believe we've seen stuff like this before. Boom. I'm gonna get this one, I'm gonna get this one, and then we'll just put it here. I really don't really care about these. And there seems to be like a yellow one, and then we got a little pink one, and I'll put that one there. So here are the colors. I like it for spring. You know, they're very like Easter colors are pretty cool. All right, so then I got a Color FX Shimmering Veil. And uh, here's the packaging. And I'm just gonna open it and we're gonna put this like right in here. Ooh. Ooh. Now girl, I honestly don't even know what that is. I don't know if it's highlighter. I don't know if it's lipstick. I don't know what it is. I haven't read the little packaging thing. So I'm just going through it real quick because it's February. February's over and I just got my box, but I'm pretty sure y'all know what it is in the comments down below. Then I got Beauty For Real. I got a little pencil here and we'll put this right in here. And it's a little black pencil, although it comes up kind of brown. And then I got this thing called Bella, something with a P, Bella Priya Prairie, I don't know, something like that. I'm gonna put some here, girl, and I'll rub it in. Okay, so I got it to come out and that's what it looks like, a little shiny. I don't know if this is eyeshadow or if it's like glitter or something. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I like it so far. I just need to figure out what it is. Then the last thing I got are crown brushes. Yes, ma'am. Girl, they gave me three brushes as opposed to that one I got on freaking Ipsy, girl. Okay, we're gonna open it up. Oh my gosh. And they're so fluffy too. Check them out. Oh, nice. Okay, these are really good brushes. Girl, they just like powder brushes to me. You know, and here they say crown. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, cool. These are like brushes. Like, honestly, I kind of am digging my little box, right? I don't know what y'all got or whatever, but I like my box, especially because I get the brushes like this and I don't feel bad about like using these and using them and use them and then like, throw them away and they get too old or dirty or whatever because I just, oh, and then crown brushes, I heard so much good stuff about crown. Although I heard crown is more free brushes. I don't know, whatever, but, um, I'm just excited that I got brushes, okay? I know, I'm like totally fangirling here, but whatever, okay? So that's pretty much all I got in my little box. So thank you for like watching me, and I hope that you enjoy it. And I really do like boxy charms so far. I can't wait for this month's box to come out. So I can, then I'll, I think I'll be like even more excited than this time. But anyways, guys, if you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, girl, send it to your haters. When they watch it, they're like, 10 minutes of their life, they'll never. And don't forget, I do have merchandise down below, so check it out if you want. And I'll see you next video. Bye, love you some man.